bringing this play to life. Um, it's been an interesting experience. Um, my theater partner and I, we were going to do it for the Winnipeg Fringe Festival. Um, being a one-man show, we didn't have quite enough time to get it together. So we postponed it to September, and it's been really interesting because my director lives in Toronto, so we've been rehearsing via Skype, which uh, I wouldn't recommend, but it works for this play because it's a one-person show. I was nominated for the Pulitzer Prize, um, and uh, did very well when it ran, and then you know, I've never done a one-person show before, so I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself. Um, but uh, I think we're doing it justice. You know, we've been working on it for, for a few months now, so I think, I, think, I think we got it right. I know we got it right. Trees are down, branches everywhere. The boy's beloved dog jogs toward him, daintily avoiding other yet to be written in puddles. She's been making her rounds pawing around the bases of trees and sniffing butterflies in the breeze. Huh. The dog. Long story short, boy loves dog. Dog loves boy. No question. No amendment. No need to revise. Willie, you know, is just wonderful with language. It's just got some beautiful language in it. And um, for me, sort of what grabs me, what makes it classic is um, the struggle. It's one man struggling emotionally naked in front of the audience. And I think uh, everybody in the audience will be able to relate to this character, will be find something to relate to in the character, um, which I think is imp important for a, a play to, to stand out. So. He is there, dreaming of this real life right here. Picture the boy. A terrible storm has just ended. A cloud overhead, a little rumble. The boy writes his watery lines, see his eyes, sympathize with his little clothes. You know, I don't want to give too much away, but at the beginning of the play, um, Tom Paine keeps some distance between him and the audience, doesn't allow them in. And sort of the trick of the play, the, the magic of the play is by the end of it, the audience is able to put themselves in his place. Um, and he slowly learns to trust the audience and, and uh, bring them into the story. I, I, I think people watching will be able to relate with his insecurity and his, his struggle very well. I strike people as a person who just left. But our little performance, our little turn on the themes of fear, boyhood, nature, hate, the nature of performance and vice versa, the heart of man, of woman, etc. You know, I'm very happy and proud that we're doing the show in this space. It's a brand new theater. Um, the Black Hole Theater Company has two has done already done two productions here, and we are the first um, sort of outside company that's doing the show here. So I think I think it'll show people that that this this is a place that it's not just for for student productions, even though that's what it's for, that's what it was built for. But it's a great performance space, and I think people who are coming from off campus and on campus will see that you know, some th good theater can cap happen here. You know? and, and hopefully, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll make them come back to some black hole shows here and, and see some more theater. I guess what I want the audience to take away from the play is, is the idea that um, anything is possible. And no matter how down you get on yourself or how inside your own head or how, how negative things may seem, there's always a little light um, that you can focus on.